Russian President Vladimir Putin visited Mongolia on Monday. He was met by a guard of honor in the airport in capital Ulaanbaatar. During the visit, the Russian leader will attend ceremonial events dedicated to the 85th anniversary of the joint victory of the Soviet and Mongolian armed forces over the Japanese militarists on the Kakin River, the Kremlin press service earlier stated. Putin and Mongolian President Uknajan Kirill Sukha will also hold talks and are expected to sign bilateral documents. During the two-day trip to Mongolia, Putin will lay flowers at the monument to Marshal Georgi Zhukov and visit a school at the Ulaanbaatar branch, assistant to the head of state Yuri Ushakov told reporters. It should be noted that the visit comes despite the fact that Mongolia is a member of the International Criminal Court, ICC, which issued an arrest warrant against Putin. The operation of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region of Russia has significantly changed the dynamics of the war in Ukraine. It has undermined morale among the Russian military, according to The Hill. According to the agency, given the short-term nature of previous operations, many were quick to dismiss the Ukrainian armed forces maneuver as a foolhardy late summer adventure. However, as the campaign unfolds, it is becoming increasingly clear that Commander-in-Chief of the Ukrainian Armed Forces Oleksandr Sirsky has opened a new front, catching Russian forces off guard. The impact of the operation in the Kursk region is felt far beyond the battlefield as it points to disarray inside the Kremlin. Now the focus of Russian command has shifted from Ukraine to maintaining an increasingly fragile grip on power. According to The Hill, Ukraine's success has undermined the morale among Russian troops. Russia also needs more forces if it wants to reclaim its territories. However, this cannot be achieved unless Russia withdraws its position in Ukraine or sends young conscripts to the Kursk region. But sending them to war is politically challenging in light of the previous promise made by Russian President Vladimir Putin not to send them to Ukraine. President Vladimir Putin, once so firmly in control, appears dazed wandering aimlessly through the dull meetings he once presided over with menace and authority. Gone are the threats of nuclear escalation, the shirtless summer holidays in Siberia and the bizarre anti-Western outbursts. The character transformation may reflect the cumulative psychological effects of losing a long and pointless war, but it also revives persistent rumors that the man on camera is not the president at all, the newspaper notes. Meanwhile, war-related labor shortages in the civilian economy will certainly worsen as the conflict and its demand for soldiers expands, driving up wages and prices. Economic hardship, a deeper Ukrainian invasion, or another attempt at large-scale mobilization could send Russians back to the streets. There are already signs of unrest in Russia's ethnic minority regions. Violent dissent is sure to grow given the disproportionate number of non-Slavic minorities who are dying in suicide attacks on Ukrainian trenches and artillery fire at the front. Вот так вот, блядь. Storm Shadow попадает на. Ля какую балку распетушила, видел? А это не Химари, да, это Storm Shadow прилетел. Да, да. Они жарит. Смотри, тут быка не разорвал. Ибо там вон танк на атомы расщепил она. Охуительный стадион.